Welcome back then everybody to the Herx contracting C&D titles, the last final of the day and we've left it to the tag restricted mediums to be that honour and it is Farrell from the front row alongside Farrell Butler, second row that man himself Desmond Hall and Ian Perks, Perksy what can he do with a good starting position this time behind them Adam Muller, Ben Forrest and Anthony Crawford here we go then down the hill into the get tools direct hairpin 14 lap final who will get the whole shot you gotta fancy Kel Farrell will just breeze away but behind him there could be all sorts of shenanigans Perksy had a cracker heat four will he do the same this time Desmond Hall was there Butler was there Muller was right in there now they've got to do it all for the final. Here we go, do we go? Green light racing! Yes, we do! Percy! What a drive for Percy! He's breezed through to third! He's got himself to third! Can he go second? Kel Farrell gets the hold up! Percy to third, Butler to second! Do they go? Into the complex and look at Percy right behind Butler now! Hall's behind them. Oh, Ben Forrest up to fourth. Where did Forrest get that? What a start from Benji. Round they come then, down the simply cool sweeper for the first flying lap. It looks like Muller and Forrest, uh, sorry, Muller and Crawford are into each other on the back there. They are in, oh no, it's Muller and Hall. What happened to Hall? Up the hill they go. Into the golden nugget hairpin they go on the first flying lap, through they come, Percy and Forrest, he is right behind Perksy, Perksy's been dropped by Butler, Perksy really needs to put the pedal down, down the hill they go, into the Get Tools direct hairpin, up the short rise, now they disappear, down the Simply Cool Sweeper, who's going to make the first move, who's going to find some momentum? As they come into Chaos Corner, back up towards us, Farrell, Butler and Perth, Forrest right there with Perth. Forrest closes in as they stream past me, Farrell, Butler, Perth, Forrest, Muller, Hall, Crawford, in that order as they stream into the rapid hire complex. Down the hill they go then, oh look at the front two getting away, but Forrest, he fans is a podium. Forrest is right behind Perksy. Perksy's going to have to battle. He's closed up. Going into the sweeper. Perksy's going to have some attention now. As they come out of Chaos Corner. Up the hill goes Farrell. Then Butler. And now look at this. Forrest right on the back. And Hall's making inroads too. Hall behind Muller. But look at Perksy. He's got Forrest right there with him. Having a look at the back end of Perksy. Can he have a go? Through the complex, down the hill, into one tool. Get tool direct hip, in they come. Back out of the rise. Oh, look at those three at the back now. It is on in the back. The three back markers, Muller, Hall, and Crawford locked together. Up the hill they come. Clear lead for Farrell. A huge lead. Forrest at the inside. Ben Forrest. Forrest, he's gone through the third. Can he keep it going? Percy now looks over the shoulder to see who's there. He's now going to have to hang on and look at this three way. Muller right in the middle of Hall in front and Crawford behind. Down to what gets all direct airpin. Still those three are oh, side by side. Muller side by side with Hall all the way down the sweeper. Unbelievable! Back up towards our through the council straight. Farrell, Butler, Forrest, Perks. And now these three, not done yet. It's the last spot to Crawford. Up the inside he goes. In the golden nugget hairpin. Muller's having none of it. Here they go, back past me again. Still Muller's hanging in there. Through the complex they go. And then down the hill. Farrell's already onto the sweeper. 
back with the sweep up we go then and Farrell is about to emerge he will now be starting lap six of the final in the restricted mediums up the hill he comes on the castle main straightaway Farrell through the golden nugget hairpin back towards me jumping up and down in the seat then Butler, Forrest, Perth will stay here for Hall then Muller what happened to Crawford Crawford's had a drama Crawford's had a big drama he's way off the back not sure what happened to Crawford oh, no. oh he's shaking his head Anthony Crawford not a happy bunny as we go back to the leader then Kel Farrell Seven laps now, up the hill he comes, he's starting to wave, the confidence is there, the speed is there, and now the gap is there, and he's looking mighty comfortable, but Forrest, Forrest, he is getting really quick, look at Forrest catching up with Butler, he is taking one tenth at a time off him, this is where it can all get very tasty indeed. Forrest on Butler for second spot. He wants the bigger trophy. He wants the ND, not the RD. Who's got the ST? It's this man, Kel Farrell. Way out front, but this battle, oh now Butler. He started to look over the shoulder. He knows he's being dragged in. Into the get tools direct hip, and they go. Leader's already gone through. Farrell's into the sweeper. Down he comes. Out of chaos corner. Kale Farrell, huge lead. Always jumping up down in that seat, still trying to go faster. But now Forrest, he has very nearly caught Butler. Butler's got cramps. He is releasing his hand off the steering wheel. job done his cheer squad will be jumping up and down for joy if he does they are on it down through the simply cool sweeper they go past me comes Kel Farrell the leader of this race starting lap number 10 now this battle still butter he's still got the sore hands Forrest right on the back of him twitching the steering wheel round the car back towards oh Forrest got it all right what a disaster! Just when he didn't want to! The twitch of that steering wheel was actually Benny Forrest bringing it all back together because he nearly lost it. That has now opened up an enormous gap. I'm thinking not enough laps to bridge that one. Kel Farrell over the line to start lap number 11. Three to go. Back towards me he comes. Farrell looking very, very comfortable. Past me comes Michael Butler. Comfortable second, then Forrest, then Perksey. Then it's Hall and Muller. Through they go. Crawford comes past behind. Still at it. And this will be completion of lap number 12 for Kel Farrell. The flying number five, up the hill he comes, past the starter's tower, looking mighty comfortable now and it's all sorting itself out behind. Farrell takes his hand, oh no, what's Farrell done? the leader of the race by a country mile throws his gloves down in disgust that is huge drama unbelievable oh he is livid that is an absolute disaster he was leading by a country mile and now the leader of the race Michael Butler he will know what's happened he has still got the hand problems but it is going to be a win for Michael Butler, 
Forrest will get second place. Percy will get on the... <laughs> he's, <laughs> he's giving fist bumps already. Percy, you've all got to say thank you to Cal Farrell for this. Because it's going to be... Oh dear me, that is absolute disaster. But check and flag awaits. And your winner, Tag Restricted Medium, the number 11, Michael Butler, second, Messi Forrest, <laughs> third, Ian Perks. <laughs> Did you tell him to do that? <laughs> oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> oh God, Perksy, you gotta thank that man. Unlucky champ, we know you were there, but that was all thanks to the unfortunate Kel Farrell, who didn't finish that one, he was out front by a huge lead. So it finished, Butler, Forrest, Perks, Muller, Crawford, Farrell and Hall. Boy oh boy, what a last race.